This is a tutorial on how to make a customized bokeh filter that fits perfectly into the front of a lens as a lens cap of 58 millimeters diameter. The blurred light in the background of any photo taken with this filter will take on the shape of anything that's actually cut into the filter. So the first step is to download a template from ponoco.com. We can go ahead and Google that. There it is. On their website, you can just click on that link, download their templates. I'm going to click you over to Illustrator. I already have their template downloaded. This is what it looks like. First thing you're going to do is go ahead and draw a circle, and you want the circle to be slightly smaller than the diameter of your lens cap. I choose 57.477. There we go. Next thing we're going to do, after we zoom in, is I'm going to go ahead and draw another circle. And the size of this circle is going to be about 60% the maximum aperture of your lens. For my lens, that's going to be about 21.4. Perfect. And I'm going to move this into the center of this circle over here, like so. Then I'm going to find any Illustrator file that I have. Go ahead and copy that, bring that back over here, paste it there. We're going to rescale this so it fits inside that smaller circle. The idea is you want your Illustrator image to go in the middle of that smaller circle. And just keep resizing this till we get it right in there. Make it a little bigger. Just like so. Perfect. All right, next we're going to take this circle and use it. Pull it up here, right about there. I'll use my Pathfinder tool to make a little finger notch there so we can pull the filter out of the lens. Next thing we're going to do, select everything. I'm going to make sure there's no fill at all for the color. I'm going to make sure my color is set to RGB and let's move our blue all the way over like so. Then I'm going to go up to my stroke to be 0 0.01 millimeters. 0 0.01 millimeters. There we go. And now I'm all set. I know it's a little difficult to see, but that's how Ponoco wants it. Now I'm going to export my file. File save as, we're going to save it as an EPS file, go ahead and click save, we're going to make it an Illustrator 8 EPS, turn the preview off, turn off all options as indicated by Ponoco's website, click OK, and now that template is ready to upload to Ponoco's website. On Ponoco's website, click on the make button at the top, Click on Upload Your Design, and now you'll be able to uh, log in and upload your design. Ponoco will laser cut it and mail it to you for a fee, of course. And that's it. Here are some examples of shots that I took over the last couple of weeks, illustrating what you can do with these filters. And that's it. If you're interested in making your own filters, that's all you got to do.